Iron Bridge and all the people in Newcastle out to support and cheer. So good morning everybody and welcome to the start line of the Simply Health Great North Run. It's a real privilege to have been invited here today by Garmin to yeah to run at the, one of the most iconic races anywhere in the world. So apologies if it's a little bit loud now, but we're here three weeks out from Berlin and yeah, super excited to get out, to get running, to get hard on some of the most amazing roads anywhere in the country, if not the world. Yeah, it's just amazing. We've got everybody gathering here behind me. And yeah, this is right on the start line with all the amazing runners, Mo Farah, etc. will be crossing very shortly. So I'm off to do my warm up. I have a little bit of a chat about race day goals for the day and everything we've got coming up soon. So stay tuned. We've got an amazing video coming up for you. So I've just been doing a little bit of a walk there, super excited for the day, just can't wait to get going now. But I've still got about an hour, but it is a gloriously summer, summer's day-ish, definitely a summer's day for the northeast of England anyway. Um, yeah, it's going to be around about 12 or 13 degrees, it probably looks a little bit hotter on camera. But yeah, perfect, perfect run together, not a breath of breeze anywhere around, so just couldn't ask for a better day. And yeah, we're going to be giving a good crack out there. I am going to be running with the GoPro so that's never that easy <laughs> dealing logistically with filming and recording things going around but still going to give it a really big effort and just see what happens I'm treating this as I said in yesterday's video so go back and watch that if you haven't seen it yet this is just going to be a glorified hard tempo-y training run out there and just taking the atmosphere of one of the most iconic races anywhere in the world so yeah let me know down in the comments have you done the Great North Run are you a fan of this race I don't see how you can't be quite honest but yeah, let me know. People have done this five, ten, fifteen odd years in a row. It is just one of the most amazing sights anywhere in running. So that's all for the build up for the race. It's going to be a good, solid, hard effort. Um, in terms of this morning, we've just had a couple of bits of toast, um, and that's been it so far. And then some orange juice, some science and sport beta fuel, and water as well for breakfast. And that's going to be up and to uh, get around the race. And if you'd have seen in yesterday's video, all the problems we had with the gel. So I've got some uh, Morton gels on board. So yeah, that's it guys. I'm going to go and carry on with a little bit of warm up, get some strides done, and then it's going to be race time. So the next time you'll hear me, we'll be on the start line. We'll see you in a bit. Ish of Newcastle down to South Shields. Watch Have a great run, everybody. Yeah. We'll see you in a bit. Just going to the first K. 308. Not too bad. It's a bit of a downhill start. Feeling good. Here we go. This is what running the Great North Run is all about. Running across the Tyne Bridge with all the people in Newcastle out to support and cheer. Is that? What a beautiful day. So many dreams being made running across this bridge today. Woo. What noise. Thank you to everybody for coming out to support all the 57,000 runners today. Please get my breath back. We'll see you in a bit. Right, guys. So that 19k. Just dropped my camera. Hope it's all right. 
struck the gel at about 6k as well. I'm shattered, but let's get the last little bit done. Come on. to go, 400 to go. Here we go. Great North run. Yeah. Celebrate the start on Monday. Woo! we celebrate on the Ah, dropping the camera in the last one. Well done, yeah, well done. Right. Dropping the camera in the last 2k to go cost me the time. <laughs> Probably should have left it, but there we go. We know that time's in the legs. And what a course, a really tough, tough course. Thank you. Well done. Tough course, some big climbs. Right, we're to gather everything together and we'll catch up. Right guys, so picked up the bag. We've got a lovely uh, band just behind us here. And yeah, just some initial thoughts. <laughs> I knew this would happen at some point. The day I'm kind of take my camera gear out and yeah, in the last 2K, I dropped the GoPro and then I was trying to fumble around, take the battery out of it, put it back in, all while trying to run about 15, 35K pace. And that's <laughs> kind of cost me my time, but you know, it's not a goal race. I'm not going to get too annoyed about it. I'll try to give you guys some great content and take you into the action. And yeah, sometimes when you carry the gear and I dropped a gel as well, trying to take the camera out um, at about 4K as well. So just trying to carry camera gear does not really go with like trying to run 69 minute half marathons, but it's a bit of fun. It's just having a laugh and it gives you guys a bit of an insight to what it's all about. So yeah, enough ranting, but yeah, the course pretty tough. I'm going to say that was a bit higher than I was expecting. Some hills out there, the crowd support. Thank you for all of the cheers out in the course. The crowd support is amazing. The volunteers, water has some great people to run with as well. So no, like I'm not hardly going to complain anyway. I'm not that sort of person, but what a fantastic event. And Alison Dixon's just crossed the line and I'm pretty sure she got her world record for the fastest ever ever half marathon dressed as a superhero straight off the back of her 50k world record last weekend so what a week she has had uh, for her so right we're gonna go and catch up with some of the other Garmin crew and yeah just taking that so again cheer some people across the line um, I'll put the official time up on the screen I'm not I've got I've got 69.07 on the Garmin so uh, <laughs> damn those seven seconds um, yeah, I'll put the official time up on the screen now, but I don't think oh, that's going to get me seven seconds back. But anyway, there we go. A little bit of fun, food time, and support everybody, and we'll catch up in a bit. Right, guys, so with that, that brings to the end our epic adventure up to Newcastle to run the Great North Run. And I think just it's just amazing to be here and see how much this race and this event means to the people of Newcastle and Gateshead it's just it's just so in their blood up here and I think I'm going to also find that when we head down to Comrades next year um, to uh, to South Africa and just see what a part what a big part running play in the community it's just a fantastic thing to be part of well done to all of you out there 57 odd thousand people crossing this amazing Tyne Bridge uh, behind me here running all the way down South Shields, fulfilling so many dreams, raising hundreds of thousands of pounds for charity. Well done to you. And yeah, let me know, as I said earlier, did you run this year? Have you run in previous years? Let me know down in the comments. And yeah, what did you think of the race? I mean, I was absolutely blown away by the support. Crossing this bridge, it was like running across Tower Bridge in London during the marathon. Just amazing. And thank you so much for amazing hospitality from all the people of Newcastle as well. And of course, a massive thank you to Garmin who made this trip up possible. They paid for my train and the hotel last night, which, yeah, I'm really, really grateful for. And yeah, so there we go. Next stop is Berlin. Are we going to manage to break that 220? It was a very, very ambitious goal at the start of this campaign, but it's possible. It's certainly possible. Today wasn't plain sailing with dropping the GoPro at the end and dropping some gels um, just after this bridge as well earlier on. So it was by far from a perfect race. And I did, I kept it nice and controlled out there as well. So yeah, 69 minutes, 218. 
it's going to be touch and go, but as always, guys, I'm going to give this my absolute most, the biggest effort out there to see what we can do in Berlin. 220 or not, it doesn't really matter. I just want to have some fun and just see what we can do. So, guys, I've got to head back down to London. I've got a train to catch. And, yeah, three more weeks of training as well to get in before we are down in the Tiergarten again by the Brandenburg Gate for Berlin Marathon. I cannot wait uh, to get back over to Berlin and see what is possible out there. So as usual guys, thank you so much. Let me know how your running is going. Thank you for all your support with the hoodies and the hats and the buffs and the plans and everything. I think I've sold about 10 hats today so far just while I was running the running the race so it's amazing to check your phone and see all the support and the love that you guys give me so yeah thanks for the comments on Strava as well it's uh yeah it's it kind of it's a bit sort of mind-blowing at times to see how quickly everything is growing at the moment we've got so much good stuff coming up in the future that's all due to you guys and the support that you give me out there so enough of the rambling we're going to go home and catch the train get back down to London and get these legs back recovered and out training again for next week. So that's it guys, it's goodbye from me, goodbye from the Tyne Bridge and the Millennium Bridge just down there and goodbye from Sarah who is behind me on her phone. So that's it guys and I will see you in the next one.